าวเออเออ best way to start a video <laughs> alright guys how's it going new age here with our week 5 uh, team builder video uh, in the NPCC the national pokemon competitive conference and this week we're going up against the bronxville bear ticks and their coach uh, slyro sil S I'm pretty sure it's Slyro. I'm like 100% sure. Like 99 minus like 8% sure. Um, the coach got changed. Um, the original coach was the Rizzle, but I guess for whatever reasons he uh, dropped out or something. And basically the league found someone else to be the coach of the same exact team. Um, so yeah, there's that. Wow, phone, stop going off. Um, so yeah, it's the same team that we're prepping for. Um, it's just, I'm gonna have to look into his battle style now to try and, like, see. I, well, I've already been doing that, and I don't, I don't think there's any changes I really need to make. Um, this team, I'm really iffy about. I've been changing things, like, on and off over the course of the past couple days i always make the team like right after i do the last battle so that way i have time to like sleep on it and stuff um so yeah 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 this has been over the course of a lot of days and i've kind of realized there's not much i can do about certain things um so basically um the bronxville bear takes their team consists of kyrie black ron and wash and boris snorlax uh toga kiss I think it's Togetic, not Togekiss. I think I got this wrong uh, earlier because I looked back on his team. I just forgot to change it. It's Togetic, not Togekiss. Um, uh, Tangela, Mega Beedrill, Azelf, Klefki, Miss Magius, and Landorus. Um, so one of the things I want to point out, he is from the other division. Our league has a Sun Division and a Moon Division. I'm part of the Sun Division and... Um, Sly Rose, part of the uh, Moon Division, meaning that they're allowed to have some of the same, um, or they're allowed to have the same Pokemon that we do. So I chose Kyrie Black for the Sun Division, and the Bronxville Bear Takes chose Kyrie Black from the Moon Division. Uh, so that being said, we have to go up against the Kyrie Black ourselves, and I really don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm like extremely scared of that. Um, there's not really things on my team that can beat it other than my own Kyrie, but I've done what I could to make it, I guess, easy for us to beat it. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean, a lot of things are not horrible to deal with. <clears throat> um, there's Embor, which we had to deal with just the other week, so I don't like that we have to battle against that again. Because our team does not do fighting Pokemon that well. Uh, especially ones like Embor that get like Fire Stab and Electric Stab. That just makes things even harder. Um, Snorlax might be a bit tough just because of how bulky it is. But I'm assuming that Ferrothorn or Rhydon will be able to handle it depending on its moveset. Um, when I thought this was Togekiss at first I was a little worried. But not so much anymore if it's Togekiss. Just because I feel like even if it does want to do the same thing that Togekiss does, it won't be as strong. Uh, so we can kind of outlast it, I guess you want to say. Um, also, we can outspeed it easier, I think. Uh, then uh, Tangela, not really worried about just because we have our own grass Pokemon and a lot of like fire, ice, and flying uh, access moves. I don't even think he's going to bring Tangela, to be honest. Uh, Mega Beedrill. That one could be a little tough, but I think just with Golbat alone, Beedrill can't really touch it. Um, also, Ferrothorn helps against it too, so I, um, I'm i not too worried about Beedrill. Azelf, I've already looked into, it just kind of dies. Klefki, depending on the set, could be annoying, but I'm thinking I've got that one taken care of as well. Uh, Miss Magius, um, I should be good with just through Umbreon alone. Um, cause this is our team that we're bringing right here, I'll go over it in a second. Um, but yeah, I think Umbreon alone should be able to handle Miss Magius. They can't even status me without getting statused back, so it's just kind of like, 
Umbreon should be able to take care of it. And Landris, I'm not too worried about, uh, just because if it's not Scarfed, main I trick out speeds, and we have HP Ice. Or if it is Scarfed, our own Scarfed carry amount speeds, and we have Ice Beam for that. So, honestly, legitimately, the only Pokemon I'm insanely worried about is Kyrium. Um, Kyrium is the fastest Pokemon on our team, bar Mega Manetric, but it, uh, Manetric doesn't have much to hit Kyrium to begin with, and uh, if he decides to bring a Scarf Kyrium as well, it outspeeds our Manetric, so <clears throat> there's just a lot of like things to worry about, like really. It, it's, it all just has to do with the Kyrium though, and I did what I could to make my team very uh, accessible to beat Kyrium, I guess, but we'll go over it now. Uh, first off, I want to say something like I originally did have Sylveon in this batch of six to bring, but I kind of decided against it because Sylveon does let me switch into a Outrage and shut down Kyrium in a sense, but Kyrium does get Iron Head and Flash Cannon, and also Sylveon doesn't really help me beat anything else. Like I'm pretty sure Snorlax can beat it. Landorus can kind of overpower Sylveon. Um, I mean. I don't know, Klefki would be annoying, and he has Mega Beedrill, like, damn, just, just the things he could bring that could really beat it. I ended up switching out Sylveon for Golbat, um, which I like a lot more because it does more than just beat Kyrim. Golbat doesn't even necessarily beat Kyrim, but it can help me against Kyrim. Anyway, so let, let's get into it. So first off, ah, oh, crap, I forgot that's going to be a thing that happened, whatever. Uh, first off, we got Umbreon. Um, similar set to last week, I believe. Unless I did, no, I did fully especially defensive last week too. Um, but I did this because I ran the calcs based on like a physical Kyrium and a special Kyrium. Um, I guess a physical Umbreon might have been better. Um, but I kind of decided off right off the bat I wanted a special wall and a physical wall. So Umbreon's gonna be my special. Um, so basically against Kyrium I could take some decent hits from this thing, like Ice Beams, Earth Power, Flash Cannon, that kind of stuff. Um, and then Foul Play hits it back pretty hard. Uh, I went with this set mostly because I was worried about Azelf, just because I couldn't lead Ferrothorn because Azelf gets Fire Blast, and I didn't want him to just throw up rocks and all these hazards and like paralyze and just do a bunch of stuff like crazy. Um, so basically I brought Umbreon not only as a special wall, but also as a lead because um, it, it matches up well against Azelf. Basically, with the calcs, foul play one-shots Azelf. Um, and if he wants to take the turn to get a Brox, that's cool. If he wants the Thunder Wave, he gets paralyzed too. And that's why I brought Heal Bell. I wanted Umbreon to be a status absorber for things like Rodham, Togekiss, um, you know, Miss Magius, Klefki, Azelf. There's just status all over his team. Um, so I wanted to be able to heal up against that kind of stuff. Um, and then wish to, you know, wish pass on to people or just for Umbreon, whatever ends up coming in handy. Uh, and Sucker Punch, I put his last move just because if he's Focus Sash, then I can just completely shut down Azelf. Basically, it goes Stealth Rock, I go Foul Play, bring it down to Sash, and then it tries to get off like a last ditch effort attack, I Sucker Punch and dies. So basically, Azelf, like, no harm to our team other than Rocks. Um... So that's why I brought that. Also, Sucker Punch could help, like, getting off some chip damage on Kyrim or even Beedrill just because it's weak. Just chip damage on certain things if Umbreon were to go down. Having that priority would be really nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, like, Foul Play does, like, half to Kyrim. Somewhere around that. So that's really cool. Um, I don't take hits too well on the physical side with Umbreon. Like, Outrage can do a lot. Uh, but... Nothing Kyrim has should be able to one-shot me, even like Focus Blast or something. So that's what we're going with here. Um, I kind of like this set. I think it should do well uh, this week. So that was our special wall. I decided to bring Rhydon as a physical wall. Um, Rhydon is a little sketchy. It's also our Stealth Rocker, uh, but I went full on like Impish, Max HP, Max Defense because I wanted to be able to one, take like a superpower from Embor. And I want to be able to like wall Beedrill, take hits from Snorlax, and take hits from Landers. Um, it can be an answer to Kyrium. I'm really, I don't know why. I'm just really expecting him to bring like a special Kyrium. Um, so you'll see my team is a lot more specially defensive. 
than physically defensive. Um, which, looking at his team, might be a little weird, yeah, because he has things like Embor and Beedrill. But like I said, I'm really not worried about Beedrill. And Embor, I mean, I'd say with a combination of like Golbat, Maynetra, Kyrim, um, could definitely handle Embor. So anyways, uh, we got the Evil Light Rockhead, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Ice Punch, just like all-around coverage, and then Stealth Rock, because I'd want to get that up. Um, that helps things like Ferrothorn. It, it weakens Beedrill. Um, it can weaken Togekiss, Landorus a bit, um, Embor a bit. And what it really does is um, Gyro Ball from my Ferrothorn, which it does have, does like 90%, I think, minimum, something like that, to Kyrim. Um, if it's a Choice Scarf set. Uh, so that being said, Stealth Rock puts Kyrim in range of that. And we can live any hit from Kyrim with our Ferrothorn. So basically, I'm really just trying to do what I can to get rid of uh, Kyrim. The bad thing is though, like Rhydon is not taking an Ice Beam from Kyrim. It's just falling straight, straight down. So no chance there. I'm not really trying to leave Rhydon in against Kyrim. Um, but yeah, Earthquake for things like Embor, Beedrill, Klefki. Um, that kind of stuff. Stone Edge for like Togekiss, um, Kyrim, I mean also hits Beedrill, can hit Rodham. Um, and then Ice Punch for like Landorus, can do a bit to Kyrim I guess as well. Togekiss, Tangela, you know. I'm not really trying to stand against all these things, I just want coverage. Um, and after an Intimidate, Ice Punch still does like a good 40% to uh, Landorus. Whereas his Earthquake does like 35 or something. Um, or no, Ice Punch should do like 45%. So, we can, we should be able to like win in the 1v1 against the Landorus if we have to. Uh, so that's why I brought that. I just wanted some nice walls. Uh, this will be like our last one here. <clears throat> um, I really like this Ferrothorn set for this week. Basically, I wanted like max special defense because Ferrothorn is already like physically bulky. So, I'm living physical hits from Kyrium, like Outrage, Fusion Bolt, like, we resist those things, too. Um, so, Kyrium can't really touch us on the physical side, so I went special because he has things like Ice Beam, Focus Blast, um, Earth Power, things like that can definitely rack on some damage. So, I want to for sure be able to take a hit from Kyrium and then go for, like, a Gyro Ball in return or T-Wave it or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I brought Thunder Wave for Speed Control because... If I do think he scarfed Kyrium, I want to paralyze him, so my Kyrium for sure outspeeds him. Um, Thunder Wave also helps for things like uh, Togekiss or Tangela or Klefki. Uh, basically, just things I thought that I would end up being in against. After last week, how I had that Stally kind of battle with the Grass types, I wanted to have like other options for things. Um, so Thunder Wave, like good speed control, Gyro Ball. Mainly for Kyrian, but I mean obviously it hits other things like Togekiss, Miss Magius, Beedrill, Azelf, like those really fast mons. Um, Leech Seed to be able to stall, so things like maybe Snorlax or Rodom I could take hits from, Togekiss I could take hits from, so it's like it doesn't really matter if it's like flinching me to death or something, I'll still be getting HP from Leech Seed and Leftovers. And then um, the last slot I went for Knockoff, just because I really feel like it'll help this game. Like, I'm not thinking about specific things he ha he will bring, but just, like, overall everything. So, like, say he has a Scarf Landorus, I can knock off its Scarf. Um, say he has, I don't know, um, Focus Sash as Elf. Say it happens to be, like, an early game thing, and we knock it off then it doesn't have a Sash. Or Eevee Light Tangela, or Leftovers Togekiss would be nice. Or, like, maybe a Chestleberry or a Salt Vest uh, Snorlax. Or even like Choice Scarf or Choice Banded Ambor uh, taking off the damage for that. Mainly though, <clears throat> my mouth is getting really dry, I'm talking way too much. Mainly though, I wanted it for uh, Kyrium because if it was Scarfed, like I said, I could paralyze it if I wanted to or I could just knock it off so then it for sure won't be faster um, or if it's like Life Orb or whatever set it happens to be. Just being able to knock off its item and then make it so Kyrium because if his Kyrim doesn't have an item, my Kyrim beats it. Like 100% for sure. Um, so that's why I put knockoff on there. I felt like it'd be really useful this game just for things like that. Especially because like I said, I could take a hit with my Ferrothorn. Alright, so let's move on now to the Kyrim. So, 
Skyrim, I gave it Outrage, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Flash Cannon. I didn't give it any kind of investment, just the last eight EVs I put into attack. Um, but I wanted it to have like max max speed and max HP, just so that way it could have a chance to take a hit. Because basically, I don't care about any other Pokemon, like, like trying to beat anything. My Kyrim is specifically to try and beat his Kyrim. Um, you know, it can hit Rodham and Embor, and like it can hit a lot of things. Togekiss, Tangla, Landorus, you know, all those it can just pile on a lot of damage to him. Um, so, I don't, I don't need that much investment. Like, zero investment, Ice Beam one shots Landorus. And we outspeed it because of the Choice Scarf. So, um, Outrage with no investment does like 120% to a max HP. Uh, Kyrim. So Kyrim will die to our Outrage. So basically, if he's not Scarfed, it'll get beaten by our Kyrim. Um, so, and if it is Scarfed and wins a speed tie, then that's easier for us to deal with anyways, because then we have things like Ferrothorn or Rhydon, depending on what he's locked into, to help us beat it. So honestly, this is like, <clears throat> if he's not Scarfed, then we beat him with Kyrie. If he is Scarfed, we could beat him with like the rest of our team. So that's the plan for that. Um, and then Ice Beam, like I said, for the coverage, Earth Power for the coverage. Flash Cannon, I decided to put on over um, Fusion Bolt because I didn't want to have to play around Landorus and the immunity. So, say like he has Togekiss out, I can. Flash Cannon instead of Fusion Bolt, and he goes out into like Landris or something. Um, and Flash Cannon also hits his Kyrium, say we get it weaker or something like that, and we can just pick it off with Flash Cannon. Um, I felt like that was a better move there. So that's what we're going for this time. Um, just really trying to live and outspeed his Kyrium. Um, like, like I said, that's the Pokemon I'm most paranoid about, other than like, say, Embor, I guess. Um, and Snorlax. I'm afraid of those like sweeping me as well. Uh, so next up we got Golbat. Um, careful, Eviolite, Infiltrator. Uh, max HP. I gave it enough speed to outspeed a Jolly, um, a Jolly Max Speed Embor. Not a Scarfed Embor, but I like to do that anyways, so that way if they are Scarfed, I know it. Um, but yeah, so that way like, you know, if it comes down to, like, me revenge killing, like, Golbat can successfully revenge kill Embor, just outspeed and get off the Brave Bird. Um, so it has Toxic, Super Fang, Roost, and Brave Bird. I didn't bring any hazard control this game. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like I'm not that weak to hazards, and I don't see his Klefki getting up a lot of hazards, because we have Rhydon, and if he's... If he sends out Klefki, I'm going straight into Rhydon because all he could really do to that is like Toxic it, if anything. He can't paralyze and he can get up maybe like one layer of spikes and then an Earthquake or something. So, or he has to switch out. So, I felt like Toxic was more important just because he has things like Snorlax that could like stall me out or Togekiss or Tangela. <clears throat> um, I'm really not trying to get stalled out or if I Toxic his Embor. Then I could attempt to roost stall it, things like that. Um, or even like wearing down his Kyrium if that's an option. So uh, that's why I chose that over Defog. I went with Super Fang just for, like I said, if you try to set up Snorlax, I can always do half no matter what his defenses are. That also hits Klefki. Um, I didn't want the same thing to happen in like week two where I don't have a move to hit a Steel type. But otherwise, I could stall him out and 1v1 him. Uh, so we're bringing Super Fang this time, Roost to live, and Brave Bird to hit Embor, obviously, and other Pokemon that don't resist Brave Bird or take it neutral. Um, so I went max HP, enough speed for Embor, and the rest I just dumped into Special Defense. Um, I was trying to decide between Special or Physical, where I'd put the Eevees uh, through calking it and stuff. Um, basically... I think it was something like we don't take an outrage or a, a, a fusion bolt no matter like whether or not I put the 112 in defense or not but it does make a difference for like ice beam and things like that 
uh, with me living it. So I decided to put the 112 in uh, special defense as opposed to physical defense. Um, like I said, it's all just like a bunch of Kyrium stuff. Uh, so Golbat should be able to live like a move from Kyrium if it's not uh, physical or if it's not like max attack. So last we have Magnetric Mega Magnetric. Um, honestly, I'm not even 100% about bringing this guy. Um, I, I'm just kind of bringing it for like the speed in case he's not scarfed um, Kyrim. But other than that, I feel like Manetric, I mean Manetric does a lot, don't get me wrong. I just feel like there's other things I could bring that would be better. Um, another thing to know too, his beads are out speeds are Manetric, so that kind of sucks. Um, but I mean, it does have a lot that it can do if it gets in early enough. Um, like it can bolt switch around his team. Um, I went with Discharge instead of Thunderbolt to have a chance to paralyze. Like I said, slowing down the Kyrium or slowing down the Beedrill, that'd be cool too. Or Embor, just getting paralysis on those things. Um, but you know, Discharge hits like Rodham, uh, Togekiss. Um, that's basically it. Uh, we have Flamethrower for like Beedrill, Klefki, Tangela. Um, and then like HPS for Landorus. Uh, which we do outspeed that if it's not scarfed. Again, I like to be able to know if things are scarfed. <clears throat> uh, basically, the speed for this thing, um, I'm pretty much always faster than Kyrim unless it's scarfed. Um, I'm not faster than Beedrill, so there's no point in trying to outspeed that. Uh, so basically, I think the EVs I gave myself for speed was just enough to outspeed a max speed Landers in normal Manetric form. So basically that's all the speed is good for. So that way I can just Mega Evolve and go for like an HPS right off the bat. Um, if he's Scarfed to outspeed me no matter what. But yeah, so this this is fast enough for us to just like freely Mega Evolve and get off of HPS, not having to worry about if he'll outspeed us. And if he is Scarfed then, you know, we'll know it. and. You know, the exchange of Pokemon for knowledge is like a cool thing, even though it kind of sucks sometimes. Um, so yeah, uh, max special attack timid to have that speed and then just dump the rest into HP. Uh, this is probably our most standard Manetric we've ever brought, but I couldn't really think anything else that would be better. Uh, there were some different Pokemon I was considering, like, um, here's my team, here's his team. Or his roster. I was really considering like Slowbro and maybe like a Trick Room Slowbro uh, or like a Calm Mind uh, Rest Talk set. But I realized like if his Snorlax is like setting up curses along my Slowbro, he'll end up winning, I'm pretty sure. Because um, just the damage he'll do to me. Or like being able to like U turn on me. I'm, I'm gonna take a lot from that. I'm gonna take a lot from like Bolt Strike and stuff. Plus, I feel like he could kind of stall me a bit with Tangela or like wall me with Klefki or Rodham. So, I was really unsure about that and decided against it. Um, I was thinking about Choice Scarf Rodham Heat for a bit to be able to hit Kyrim. Um, but I mean, I died at Earth Power. And last time I brought Rodham against Embor, it just died to Super Power. So I was like, all right, maybe this doesn't do much. If anything, it just helps me kill Beedrill, but that's it. Like, it's not really good for anything else. Uh, I considered Ditto to have, like, two Kyriams on my team, essentially. But, I mean, the one Kyrium kind of does the job as long as his isn't scarfed. So I, I went against that one, too. I haven't brought Ditto yet, and I really want to, but I haven't found the opportunity. You know, obviously, I'm trying to win, too. And then I told you my thoughts about Sylveon. So... That's why I didn't bring that one. So yeah, this is our team, you guys. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Let me know things you might change or things to consider for next week or uh, all that good stuff. And yeah, if you want to check out Cyro and his channel, his Twitter and YouTube will be down below in the description. So until then, you guys, uh, leave a like if you're hyped and stuff for the battle. It's going to be up on Saturday. And until then, you guys, I'm new. still keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.